Hello parents and the students. Here is Jessica Lobulu, a primary teacher at Turkish Marif School Solution. Today I'm going to teach you healthcare and environment. Our topic of today is living things in our environment and the subtopic is animals. You are welcome. Hello kids, how are you? How is today? Welcome to the class. Today I'm going to teach you healthcare and environment. Our topic of today is living things in our environment and the subtopic is animals. Animals are divided into two groups. The first one is wild animals and the second one is domestic animals. Let us see the domestic animals. First of all, you have to know that the, first, the domestic animals are kept at home and the wild animals are, kept, are found in the forest or national parks. Let us see the examples of the domestic animals. We have the examples like cow, cat, dog, duck, hen, pig, rabbit, sheep, goat, and donkey. And the examples of the wild animals which are found in the forest or national parks are like giraffe, leopard, elephant, hyena, hippo, lion, zebra, and rhino. I think you have seen this in the national parks at the last day, in the last year. We, we went there, you saw them. Now let us see the benefits which we get from domestic animals. As we see, the domest domestic animals are found at home. Now let us see the benefits we get from them. We, we can get the benefits like milk, eggs, meat, skin, manure, and security. Some uh, domestic animals give us the security like a dog. Also, we get, get milk from the cow, from the sheep. Those are the domestic animals which, which give us milk. We get also eggs from hen, from the and also from the duck. Also, we can get meat from cows, from pig, from sheep and the other animals. For also, we get the manure for our, our farms, like from the cows, from the hen, from the goats, and from the sheep. Those are the benefits we get from domestic animals. Now let us see the benefits we get from the wild animals. The wild animals, as we learn, are the animals found in the forest or at the national parks. Let us see the festive benefits. Wild animals attract the tourists. The tourists are those white people from the abroad. They come to our country looking for the animals in the park and we pay some money. So we get money from the white people. The second one, we get meat from some wild animals, like the antelope. Antelope. We get meat from the antelope. This is an example of the wild animal. The third one, we get some medicines from wild animals. Some wild animals which live in the forest give us some medicines. Are we together, class? Okay, you have to remember this, the benefits which we get from domestic animals and the ones which we get from wild animals. Okay kids, let us see some examples of the wild animals, those who have found in the national parks or in the zoo. For example, we have here a leopard. This is a picture of a leopard. Another one, another picture is a picture of a giraffe. Here is a giraffe. This also is found in the national park or in the zoo. This one is elephant. All of you say elephant. This one also 
found in the national park. Another one is a zebra. All of you say zebra. Good, this is a zebra. Bye-bye.